how do I deal with this anger issue, Pastor? Right here. Verse 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things ever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. And when you stand praying, forgive. If you have aught against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive your trust, you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive you your trespasses. What don't we understand about that? That if I choose not to forgive, because forgiveness is a choice. It's not about a feeling. Because you really don't want to feel like forgiving folk. That's the honest truth. You don't want, I, don't feel, I don't feel like forgiving. But I make a choice to. I make a choice not to negatively penalize you for what you've done to me. Amen. Y'all wait, stand up. Everybody stand up. Stand up. Everybody stand up. Everybody look, look dreamy eyed tonight. Praise the Lord. Everybody stand up. Stretch yourself. Praise the Lord. Stretch yourself. Stretch yourself. Because you got to get this, man. I mean, you got to deal with this anger issue. I mean, praise the Lord. All right, everybody sit down. Sit down. Everybody. There, there you go. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> All right. That's a trick of the enemy. Amen. It's a trick of the enemy to try to put you to sleep tonight simply because he knows that you need this. Amen. So I need to learn how to forgive folk that hurt me in the past. Amen. Who, who is it that, that, that comes up to mind right now that you still having issues with? Amen. You still holding and harboring unforgiveness in your heart toward that person. Whoever that image is that just came up in your, your mind, that's who you need to forgive. Amen. Can I use you? Yeah, yeah. All right. Appreciate it. A few weeks ago, I, I was sharing with my nephew. I, I said, listen, uh, what we were talking about, how to, how to be blessed, huh? And, and what we were talking about? <laughs> Which time he say? But no, uh, he had an issue uh, that he needed to deal with and uh, with his mother and uh, harboring some unforgiveness in his heart. And I told him, I said, nephew, I say, you can't live the blessed life until you get that thing out of the way. Well, the first inclination is, well, I'll just forgive her and won't tell her. Well, what good is that? I mean, what good is that? You, you, you say, well, I, I, I'll just forgive her. But, but that person never knows that, that, that you wrong them or, you, or they wrong you. I said, you got to call her and tell her, hey, look, mama, this, this is what happened. And get all that stuff out. Because what happens is the person that you're holding up forgiveness against is going on about their life. And it's, it's hindering you and your relationships. And until you decide, I'm going to get this stuff out of me and get it on, look, let it go, you can't move on. So he picked up the phone, called his mama, praise the Lord, got that thing straightened out. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Matthew chapter 18. Matthew chapter 18. Amen. How to handle these anger issues. Matthew chapter 18. Look at verse number 21. Matthew 18, verse number 21. Well, let's start at verse 18 because I, I can't get to 21 until I, I look at 18. And we like to read 18 to verse 20 and then stop. But it goes together. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall uh, buy, uh, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. And, I, and again I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where, that, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord... How oft shall, shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? Till seven times? Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until what? Seventy times seven. So God said, you got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta forgive one person at least 490 times. Yeah, I'm going to go to that one. And that's not for a lifetime. That's in a day. Now, I, I, I used my nephew earlier, but let me use me. I had an issue with my father. And uh, this, I mean, we grew up without my father. Uh, he wasn't there. And when all of us got out and got good jobs and start having the American dream, you know, you know kind of like one of them star athletes. The daddy was never around. But now that they signed a big contract, the daddy want to come into their life and say, that's my boy? No. 
no, you can't do that. Mm-mm, mm-mm. And so, uh, so basically he had that mentality, and I'm like, hold up, hold up, you ain't had nothing to do with this. Susie Mae had all to do with this. Amen. And, uh, and so, you know, and so one day God busted me. He said, now, if you're going to move any further in life. Now, I was, I was in ministry. I was preaching. And God told me, he said, if you're going to move any further in life and in ministry, you got to forgive your father. What? I don't like him. No, I, I don't. I, I don't like him. I, I don't like him. I don't like what he does. I don't like what he says. I just don't like him. And, and, and God said, I don't care what you like. He said, now you like me blessing you, don't you? I said, yeah. I said, okay. So God had me go talk to my father. So I went over to his house, and I sat down with him. I said, I say, uh, and I told him, I said, Daddy, I forgive you. You know, now it was a big shock for him, you know, because he thought everything was cool. I'm like, hold on, now nah, everything ain't cool. And I, I, start, I started laying everything out. You wasn't there for me. You did this, that, and the other, you know. And, and, and I laid everything out on the table, and I told him, I said, now nah, I forgive you for all that stuff. You know, now he was perplexed because he go, my son, my son telling me this kind of stuff. And who is he to come tell me this kind of stuff? I'm, I'm the man that's trying to be blessed. So I went, I went and took care of that issue. Amen. Praise the Lord. And God said, it doesn't matter how, how many times he sinned against you. What matters is how you respond. And he said, look, you respond. If he sinned against you seven, seven times, he said, you forgive him. Seven times 70. Now let me go, let me give you Luke chapter 17. Let me, let me put both, both of these things together because you got to see. It's not when you get to 489, 490, that's the last time I'm going to forgive you. See, the Bible said 490. <laughs> Amen. Now, now, let's be honest with each other. Nobody messes over you that bad. 490, Sylvester, so 490 times? <laughs> Man. Okay, Luke chapter 17. Watch this. Luke chapter 17. Amen. Look at verse number three. You ready? Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to, to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. What? So if somebody do me something wrong, and this is a good, for, for, amen, pray, page, just for you, baby. If somebody do you, don't, don't look back at her. Who is that? Who are you talking about? If somebody do you something wrong, then the Bible says you need to forgive them. Amen? Now, the flesh says, no, I, I, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to you. I'm going to punch your lights out. That's not the way to function. That's not the way to handle that situation. The Bible says to do what? Forgive them. But pastor, you don't know what they've done. I don't care what they've done. God knows you have to forgive them. Well, Pastor, they cheated on me. He cheated on me. I don't know what I'm going to do. What you, gonna, what you mean? What you, you don't know what you're going to do. You're going to forgive him. Oh, Lord. Okay. Would God forgive you for your mess ups? I'm not saying it, it doesn't hurt. Amen. But I'm saying that you still got to forgive them. Ooh, I got some unforgiving folk in the house tonight. Ephesians chapter 4. My Lord. I mean, my Lord. 